It is very seldom that mere ordinary people like John and myself can secure the ancestral halls for the summer. Although, I suppose my illness is the true cause of our impromptu vacation. But you see, my dear John does not believe that I'm sick. Personally, I believe that congenial work with excitement and change would do me good. But John and his sister Jenny disagree, saying that all I need is the fresh air and rest. Anyway... I don't like our room a bit. I wanted the one downstairs, the one that opened to the pizzazza and had roses all over the window, but John would hear none of it. Instead, I'm in this big airy room, and the whole floor is open nearly, with windows that look all ways. It was a nursery first and then a playroom, I should judge, for the windows are barred for little children, and there are rings and things on the walls. But the worst part? is that I've never seen a more dreadful wallpaper in my life. I'm getting dreadfully fretful and querulous. I cry at nothing, I cry at most of the time when I'm alone, and often I'm alone. I don't know why I should write this. I don't want to. I don't feel able. And I know that John would think it's absurd, but I must say what I feel and think in some way. And it's such a relief. The pattern has been getting more clear, but it's still frustratingly difficult to decipher. On a pattern like this, by daylight, there's a lack of sequence, a defiance of law that is a constant irritant to the normal mind. The color is hideous enough, and unreliable enough, and infuriating enough, but the pattern is torturing. At night, in any kind of light, in twilight, candlelight, lamplight, and worst of all by moonlight, it becomes bars. The outside pattern, I mean. And the woman behind it is as plain as can be. I don't want to leave now until I found it out. The front pattern does move, and no wonder! The woman behind shakes it. I think that woman gets out in the daytime. I've, I've seen her. I can see her out every one of my windows, and I know it's her because women don't often creep as she does. Jenny is worried about me being alone, but I wasn't alone a bit. As soon as it was moonlight, and that poor thing began to crawl and shake the pattern, I got up and ran to her. I ran to help her. We pulled and shook and pulled and shook, and I peeled and peeled until the sun rose. And later that day, I kept ripping and taking off that yellow. I needed to free her. I don't like to look out the windows, even. There are so many of those creeping women, and they creep so fast. I wonder if they all came out of that wallpaper as I did. <laughs> oh, I've gotten out at last, in spite of you and Jane. I've pulled off most of the paper so you can't even put me back! <laughs>